what's up you guys this is Akilan from Akilan Tech and welcome back to the new video. In this video I am going to talk about the future of computers which is the quantum computers and let us see what are the quantum computers and why it is the future of computers. If you are interested to know that then watch the video till the end. So let's get started. First of all, I want to ask you a question. What is the primary part of the computer? You might be thinking RAM, ROM, but exactly it is not the RAM or the ROM. It is the processor because the processor is like the brain of your computer because in your body, whatever your brain suggests, then that work will be done by the entire body. In the same way, in the computer also, whatever the processor suggests, that work only will be done by the computers. Let it be typing in the keyboard or showing the output in the monitor. Let us recall, in the starting days of the computer, we had the Intel Pentium processors and slowly every year, the speed of the processor has been increased and now we are having the Intel i3 i5, i7 and even the i9 processor which are way much better than the Intel Pentium processor. So you might see the difference in the speed of processing. So to make a processor fast, the manufacturers increase the number of transistors in it. A processor is made up of many transistors. If you compare the size of the Intel Pentium processor with the Intel i9 processor, you will observe a huge decrease in the size. In every new generation of the processor, the number of transistors will increase. So the speed of the processor will increase and the energy consumption will be less. If you have ever seen the specification sheet of a processor, then you will find like the 14nm, 8nm, 7nm and the 5nm. If you want to know detail about this nanometers, I will surely make a dedicated video on that. So if you are interested to watch that video, then make sure you are subscribing to this channel. At present, we are having the 8 nanometer, 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer processors. In upcoming days, we are going to get the 3 nanometer and next year we might get the 2 nanometer. So after some years, we will get the 1 nanometer processor, which is as small as an atom. So as the size of the transistor decreases, the capacity to hold the power loses by the transistor. So the transistor becomes useless because the main work of the transistor is to manage the current flow. It acts like a switch like on or off. So to solve this problem, the quantum technology comes into play. The present normal electronic gadgets work on the binary code 0 and 1. But the quantum computers work on 0, 1 or 0, 1. So there are three combinations in the quantum computers. The big tech giants like Intel, IBM, Google are having and using the quantum computers. These quantum computers works on qubits. As I said, it works on three states. 0, 1, 0, 1. These three states are called as qubits. This helps the quantum computers to have more combinations and perform multiple complex calculations. The present normal computers that we are using cannot perform multiple complex calculations, but the quantum computers can perform multiple complex calculations at a single time, which is 100 times faster than the normal computers. The normal processors that we are using right now are made up of silicon, but the quantum computers are totally made up of gold. So these quantum computers cost a lot than the normal computers. These quantum computers also consume more power and it needs more place and especially it needs to be stored in the zero degrees Celsius temperature, which is the temperature in the space. If you don't store these quantum computers in the zero degrees Celsius, it will completely show the different results. We cannot turn the normal computers that we are using right now into the quantum computers. These quantum computers work on the different principle. These quantum computers are also not made for the video editing or the graphic designing stuff. It is made to solve the multiple complex calculations and it is used in the medical field, the chemical field and to improve the artificial intelligence and also to explore the space and to search in the huge databases. And that's all from this video. I think you got a clear idea about the quantum computers. If you are still having any doubts about the quantum computers, you can leave the comment in the comment box below. I will definitely answer that question. And if you find this always informative, drop us a like down below and share this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so that you will be reminded every time I post a new video in my YouTube channel. And also, don't forget to watch this video out there because it will be way more interesting. And that's it for me today guys. I will see you in my next video. Cheers!